Alrighty, what's going on guys, and welcome back to another unboxing. And I'm quite looking forward to this one actually, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. I did buy loads at once, and then kind of mass, uh, what do you call it? Like mass made loads of them, because I was buying stuff every week, but now I've kind of toned it back a bit. It's actually been about two months since I've done something like this, so... I was going to wait till this weekend because we're going to Manchester. So I was going to like get a ton there and then be like, oh, look at this because it's payday. But we will carry on like this. So there's a bit of everything in this one. Um, and I'm also going to do this now so that I can actually um, play what I hope is in here. Because, like I said, I did buy quite a bit. So. That is interesting. Oh, we got a bundle here. I know what that is. I do. I do, I do, I do. So this was, I think, a pretty good bundle. So you're gonna, you kind of could see it already. Bang. Da -da. Assassin's Creed. So, I haven't been on an... I've never played Assassin's Creed, right? To be honest with you now. Uh, I've never played... Any of them. Um, so I have no idea which ones are, like, good and bad and blah, 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 blah. They're all for the PS3. Um, which is, like, kind of the only downside. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't mind. I'll crack open the old PS3. I haven't been on it for ages. And this, oh, hang on. right, this might be a bit cutty because people are walking in and out. Because it's that time. Anyways, like I was saying, Assassin's Creed I've never played. I can probably, to be honest, um, get some of this on PlayStation. But doing, I mean, this is like all of these games. I didn't pay any more than £14 for this. So, and I like that black case. That's cool. I almost nearly, I almost nearly bought... Fallout 3 for the PS3 just because it had the greatest hits case um, and that's uh, a red case for those of you who don't know so I'm expecting big things from these ones These, this, this is why I'm opening them now because I want something to play in bed and that is what I have because I have beaten all the games I have now so we've got the Lego movie video game on its own I've never played it um, I've watched the first movie years ago, but this one I have not seen, so we shall give it a go. It'll either be good or bad. Now we're going to play, like, oh, that one, that's what I was looking forward to, I'll be honest. No, I didn't need it. No, I really didn't need it, but I've got it. Okay, this isn't even in the thing. That's awesome. I've got the soundtrack. I've got a map. I've got the Universe Compendium. I'll be honest, I thought this was a bit bigger. I'm not going to lie. But that is awesome. We're obviously... I, I went through the Witcher thing. And I was like, oh, this is cool. It's, I'll play it. And then I kind of... I don't know if I burnt myself out by playing too much of it. It's possible. It is possible. Um, but we're obviously doing that again on the channel now. So I'm actually looking forward to playing that again. I'm just waiting to be able to do it. So let's try and like organization this a bit. There we go. I love collecting for all these things, but I've, I've full on got a new hobby. Oh, we got a PSP game. And it's sealed? Wow. SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I have no idea if it's any good. Uh,. It was really cheap. It was like four pounds. So I don't know if that's a good sign. <laughs> Maybe not. But that's sealed. It's brand new. That's pretty cool. Is it sealed or am I just? I don't know if someone's put that on. I'm not sure. But I don't know. You have to let me know if it's good or bad. We've got another Vita game in this one. Hey, Minecraft. PS Vita Minecraft. Let's go. Oh no! Don't look at that. Minecraft, PlayStation 3 edition. Oh, that's cool. I like keeping my codes. So yeah, we all know about Minecraft. Obviously, we're playing Minecraft on the channel. I had one of my Minecraft playthrough uh, episodes like 
shot up to like 140 views, which is like unheard of for something that isn't. You know, I have these one-off videos, like a Battlefield 2042 video popped off, and I, I don't really know why, because it was just me playing TDM. But yeah, this Minecraft one kind of popped off as well. Ow, that was my elbow. So yeah, I, I don't know why. So we've got another one. We've got another Assassin's Creed. I missed the bin. I really like the Vita. Right, I'm going to be like, so off topic now. I never got one when it came out. Um, and it's a shame because I think this really could have like been my kind of console. It's a handheld, obviously, but it's great because I, I I can literally put it in bed. So if I'm like playing raid or something, obviously raid is something you have to just kind of leave on. I can leave raid on. I can play my Vita. I can get trophies. I like trophy hunting. It's just perfect for that. You know, it's really cool. So, anyways, Assassin's Creed Three Liberation. I don't know. I don't think that's a Vita only game. But can you see a theme here with Assassin's Creed? That's obviously what I'm kind of. I don't know. I don't know why I've all of a sudden started craving Assassin's Creed. I don't really know. To be honest with you. Music Magpie coming in clutch, putting the disc in upside down. You love to see it. That disc is clean though. Anyway, Overlord, um, relatively cheap, uh, I think it's a game where you like command your little minions and you have to make a little army and then they go and do their thing, but you play as like, you play as the bad guy for a change or something like that, so that's quite interesting, so yeah, I'm uh, going to open my PS3 at some point and do that again, what have we got in here, oh look, Another Assassin's Creed game. Oh, that's what showed up. Am I missing something? I can't believe this has shown up already. It didn't say it was going to be here. This should be. Okay. That's quite cool. That opens up like a, like a wall. That's awesome. <coughs> hey, you're going to sneeze. So we've got Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So I'm pretty sure that's like everyone now, right? Other than like the the Haller and all that kind of stuff. So what have we got here? We've got the soundtrack. That's quite cool. So this one was more expensive, but I don't mind spending more money on... Uh, we've got a map. I'm not going to open that because I'll be here for 10 years trying to put it back together. And a book that looks relatively clean. Clean as a motherfucker. That is clean. Obviously all the artwork and all of that kind of stuff. I like that. That's cool. So yeah, I'm going I'm to be kind of upset now if I, I've gone through all of this. I like that. I like that cover. I really do. That's so cool. Oh, you didn't get to see that. Yeah, I'll be pissed off if I've done all this and I don't even actually enjoy Assassin's Creed. So yeah, that's that. Kind of a bit all over the place now. I think this is going to be the first unboxing where I don't have an Xbox game because this definitely isn't an Xbox game. Can even get it out? There we go. Oh no! Where's the knife? Well, it was brand new and sealed. It is now open. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ, that was effort. Right. We have the Cyberpunk. 2077 strategy guide. And what's in here? Premium. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and a little bonus thing. That's quite cool. But yeah, I absolutely adored Cyberpunk. I really did. And you know, I might play through it on the second channel again, I'll be honest with you. But this is brand new. I don't know if you can be able to hear that on the video. But the pages are full on. That's brand new. That is awesome. And that's thick as well. I mean, there's a Vita case. That's a thick boy. 
so yeah I, I might play through that again on the second channel i really might um i don't obviously strategy guides are becoming less and less common uh, less and less popular people don't really buy them anymore because you can just get it all online which i get it you know and i've, I've said before about stuff like this the whole online digital kind of scene is what's the future unfortunately which sucks for someone like me that's just gotten into collecting like games in hand you know like i own this now i can play this you know and we went through that, well, I say we, I didn't at the time, but obviously Vita went through the scare of Sony was like, oh, we're going to take down the store so you can't do anything anymore. And that that kind of stuff, that is what I mean. Like, Game Pass, for the value, is incredible, right? It's amazing. You can't deny it. And Xbox are absolutely smashing PlayStation at the minute. Um, PlayStation do have some good games on there. Like, I'm pretty sure they've got a lot of the new Assassin's Creed's, one of the FIFA's, and, you know, they've got some big games on there. But Xbox have so much more, like all of the Gears games, all of the Halo games, quite a few Call of Duty games. They're just the, the it's great. But they can take that off you at any time, so you never own that game. And if you, I don't know, come across hard times and you can't pay for um, Plus, or not Plus, well, Plus again, but you know, you can't pay for whatever, then you can't play those games because you don't own the Pass. That's, that's the problem. Whereas, like, if, if my internet goes down, I don't need it to play this, you know. That's what I'm getting at. And I like this kind of stuff. And stuff like these special editions, they're so cool. I don't mind spending a little bit more money on stuff like that. You know, I've just basically spent, let's just say, £30 on, I don't know, we'll say at, at least half of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Which is, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> So I'm getting a bit stuffy. I do apologise, but that is the haul. That is the the unboxing. So we've yeah, I do want to play through Assassin's Creed. I don't know if we're going to do it on the channel or not. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's a lot going on, and I've just started using my second channel as a place for different games. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have the time to do it yet. But I'm definitely going to get around to it. I have a few days. Well, I have about three weeks. Coming up to Christmas where I have all week to just record. So there's going to be a ton done. And yeah, I'm starting to use my second channel now. So we will see. We will see. So there you go. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, let me know down here what's good. What's worth playing. What's If you'd like to see any of these Assassin's Creed or, you know, Overlord or whatever, let me know down below. Obviously the Witcher we are playing. Cyberpunk, I've had problems with Cyberpunk on my channel because I just get demonetized and I know it's not in it for the money but it's a bad look for your channel if all your videos get demonetized in it so I can fight them and they do always re-monetize them after like three weeks but it's just it's just kind of a ball ache and I don't really know if it's worth me carrying that on but like I said the second channel obviously I'm not I'm not monetized on there so Maybe we'll do it on that channel. I don't know. We'll see, obviously, the updates and stuff like that. We're getting the one DLC. The one DLC I'll definitely play through, but they're only doing one, unfortunately. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to start rambling. I'm going to try and find a place for these now because I don't get my shelves until next week, which is awesome. So I'm going to try and hide these from my girlfriend so <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed please leave a like down below subscribe leave in the comments anything like that links to all my social medias in the description down below including all my channels my discord my instagram all the stuff i use and uh yeah it's been your boy and i'll see you all in the next one